so much and working for you this midday with brand new details on a multi-million dollar settlement involving you and the BMV. So how can you get your refund? Call 6 Chief Investigator Rafael Sanchez is here. And Rafael, folks just want their money back. We're talking about about $62 million. That's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So let me break it down for you on this midday. The settlement is meant to cover overcharges to you dating back to the year 2002. That's a lot of money involving a lot of people. Of course, that we're talking about more than five and a half million Hoosiers can get a refund in their form of a credit or a paper check. Now, the overcharges involve registrations, driver's licenses, ID cards, and much more. The BMV has been entangled in two lawsuits since back in 2013. The first one generated refunds totaling $30 million. Now, this midday, you'll hear from the attorney on the case, but first, from the woman who was the face of the latest lawsuit. It was quite a fight to uh, get the BMV to reimburse or to pay those funds to us that they were not entitled to. Um, this process was definitely uh, a lot harder than I ever could envisioned. I am proud to announce perhaps the most successful demonstration of what Hoosiers can do when they come together to confront government misconduct through the courts and to hold government accountable. So the lawsuits are over, now it's time for refunds. Well, how do people get those refunds? Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. So just follow me. Okay. It's not that easy, but it is somewhat easy. So here we go. If you want to get a refund for the years 2002 through mid-2006, you have to go to the BMV website, imbmv.com, and click this button you see right there, Beth, Class Action Lawsuit Claim Form. Fill out a quick online questionnaire to request a credit or a check. That's part one. Here's part two. Now for refunds for the years covering mid-2006 through 2014, that credit will be automatic, easy peasy. But if you have a family member who's moved out of state, you can, they can request a check by going to that web, that button there as well. Refunds can range from a dollar to fifty dollars, okay. depending on how many vehicles were in your home during the period of years. Key thing for those of you watching us right now on the RTV6 app or on Facebook or whatever social media thing you use, if you moved away, you can request a check. If you lived in the state between 2002 all the way to 2014, here's the good thing. Okay. A lot of information. I'm doing a tutorial video. We will have it ready for you for the news at five o'clock. So. We'll be ready to walk you through this process yep. to get yep. your money back. A lot of folks want their money back. They want their money back. Okay, Rafael Sanchez, thank you so much.